Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm just stopping in to do a quick video. Well, it probably won't be quick. Probably take about 20 minutes. So I definitely had to rest up and I returned back to work yesterday. So, so like I said, definitely I'm, I'm back in all aspects. I guess I put it that way. I also sent my little cookie cookie crew a little message earlier about me being back to bacon too. Because, because of course, I've been gone. So nobody can get anything, of course. So, so like I said, I'm back with that too. So I just hope that y'all are doing well. I'm actually on my way to a... Um, to a, um, a work uh, a employee appreciation event and this is actually the second one we've had since I've been here and I've only been here since what August and I'm like well gee <laughs> this is at least to me is awesome I don't know like I said I, I bought the most events uh, I don't know in one year I guess but ain't been a year but I guess eight months I don't even know how many months it is I don't know eight months since um since mid-July I guess but like I said this is awesome so it should be fun of course the last one we had was out in the park too so and today it's almost uh, it's, it's actually 87 degrees here in Tucson, but like I said, definitely um, I got my sunscreen over here on, on my thing so I can put that on when I get out the car. So, because me and myself and sun for some reason I burn so easily, I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. I think I may be the only one in my family that actually does actually. But I'm like Lord, I can't I can't not definitely can't get burned out in this park today. That really hurts. Like I said, I hope y'all doing well. If y'all on here, I can't tell who's on here as I'm driving. So just let me know how y'all doing, what's going on. I guess I put it that way. Like I said, nothing's really going on. Well, there are things going on on my end of the world. I guess I put it that way. But um, I'll be saving that all that type of stuff for some podcasts and stuff. So coming up soon. And if y'all don't know, actually, because I, I, I know some of y'all do know. But all y'all may not know. But y'all gonna know right now. I guess I put it that way. But... Um, I have my, my podcast The Social Worker Coaches over on Spotify So make, or whatever platform that you listen to Your pod, your favorite podcast on Make sure you fave mine And go check it out y'all Like I said being um, a social worker And a certified life coach And of course not just those experiences That I've had with clients and in work And stuff like that But also my personal life and those around me as well Like I said I share all types of different things I guess I'd say that um, As far as life lessons um, helping shift the mindset, I guess I put it that way, and it helped to, of course, change some gen. I guess um, change lower, well, same thing, change in some generational curses. I mean, like I said, those are the things that I've done. So, like I said, that's that's definitely the things that I focus on, and also um, I know how important it is to, of course, to talk about some of those things that us as social workers go through, or just helping professionals in general. I guess I put it that way. So I have a few of those podcasts on it. Like I said, definitely y'all get over and check it out. It's the Social Worker Coach Podcast. Now, actually, um, I'll be doing a podcast episode tonight, actually. So I'll um, be sure to share that probably tomorrow. Because I don't edit anything, so probably tomorrow. And actually, talk about editing, y'all. Y'all know I try to... Well, of course, y'all know I bake. But a lot of y'all know I bake. And I do cooking demos and all that type of stuff. Put them on YouTube and all this. Um, I was trying my hand at editing in the past about two months. I guess maybe like a month, two months. I didn't realize how time consuming and how detailed editing is. I guess those are the best words I can say. But it's, it's very, very time consuming. The reason why I tried to edit those videos, because <clears throat> I, I was asked on YouTube by some of the people who, of course, watch my videos for the cooking and the sweets and that kind of thing. Because usually when I'm cooking and baking and that kind of stuff, I can't just sit there for the whole time while it's baking in the oven. That'd be like my two hour video. So, there are, and so therefore, that part is cut off usually. So I was trying to do the video so I can, of course, include the part, how it looks and taste it, that kind of stuff, after I get it out. And some folks were asking if I can start doing that so they can see the finished product. I guess I put it that way. Y'all, I tried my best. I don't know. Y'all, that's just a little bit too much for me. I will, I, I'll, 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 these, these next coming times, I'll definitely try my best to keep it more simpler. I guess I put it that way because it was a lot. Um, and it took me up a few days to learn how to do my first edited video with all these segments, all these parts and all this kind of stuff. So I wouldn't have a lo so long of a video. My hat's off to those folks. What is going on up here? Who actually edit videos, y'all? I, that, like I said, that was my first time actually editing a video like that. Don't know if I, well, can't say if I don't know if I ever do it again. But like I said, for those on YouTube who, of course, watch my videos and stuff like that on YouTube, they, since they asked me, I will definitely continue on doing it. But like I said, definitely, that was a lot. I put it that way. I'll make sure I keep it simple this time. 
or the, in the future, I guess I'd say that. So like I said, definitely, it, it, it's a lot. Any video I do like this, I never edit these videos. No TikToks, no Facebooks, no Instagram. I'm not going to edit anything. I never have. I never will. My thing is with, um, besides, I guess, the cooking demos, the cooking videos. I understand that. But um, besides that, like I said, definitely, I'm always one who just always just, just go off the fly, whatever I feel, whatever I'm talking about, or whatever the topic is, that kind of thing. I don't usually sit there and take my time to have to, which I know people do, do their hair, get the makeup, do all these kind of things. Which I have did like some lipsticks, and like, like different shades and stuff like that. Just like play around with things. But but like I said, some folks take it very far and want to edit and make sure everything's immaculate. Like I said, I've never been one of those kind of people when it came to stuff like that. My main thing is, yes, the video is important. The look of the video is kind of important. But to me, the message is more important than that. It's how I've always looked at things. But like I said, I know some folks are very superficial. That, that's, that's how they roll. But like I said, I'm not one who rolls like that. Because for me, if you got to do too much editing on your videos or something you're trying to say, I'm just like, okay, you either being a fraud or you don't know what you're talking about or something going on. I don't know. Just seems strange to me. But like I said, I know folks do it. I guess just to make sure the video flows better or flows well and that kind of thing. But like I said, definitely, it's a hard job to do. So I understand that. I can't say it's fake. There's just fake. But... I understand some folks want to shorten the videos and that speed up some parts and stuff like that. I understand that. I greatly understand that. Take out the unnecessary rainbow like I normally do. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but on from the editing. <laughs> but like I said, that was my first about two months, month and a half ago, two months ago. Probably actually about, I think it was last month. Yeah, it was in, um, in March. Um, my first time ever editing a cooking video. That I did several different videos to show different parts. I'm like, uh, -uh. next time I know to make sure I have all my little bowls ready with all my little ingredients and all that kind of stuff ready to go. That's where my time comes in at trying to put stuff together, figure out what the seasoning is, all this kind of stuff. So if you out there trying to be a YouTube star or have videos on YouTube or do any kind of videos, I guess I put it that way, and you're cooking or baking, making something, I don't care what it is. If you're making bracelets, jewelry, food, bake cakes or whatever, Make sure that you have your ingredients or your um or the items that you'll need in order to do that project right there with you. Like I said, I, I know that now because <laughs> I waste a lot of time sometimes talking and talking and trying to find this spice and that spice. And next time it will be ready to cut down on time. I can tell you that. And just in, uh, in talking about YouTube, um, hopefully y'all know I have a YouTube channel. I think I've said it a few. Well, everybody does not see posts on here. I know that. But I do have a YouTube channel, my same name, Tonetta Clay. The same name that's her on Facebook, Tonetta Clay. You can definitely um, go there and subscribe. Like I said, I have probably over a thousand videos on that YouTube channel, actually. Um, I don't know. I'm sure it's over a thousand. Some of them are short, some of them are regular, like long term, um, long um, videos. But definitely go on there and subscribe. Like I said, definitely the um, similar kind of things I talk about, like mindset, some, some um, small business tips or ideas or that kind of thing um breaking those generational curses some things to do with social work of course like suicide prevention suicide um, education i guess i put it that way educating a little bit about about end of life and death and dying all those types of things like i said I def i'm a social worker so i deal with that kind of stuff and so like i said definitely i um those are some of the things that you'll find on there as well then of course i'm sharing my story what is going on here I'm sure there's all these police. Now, you ain't even seen no police here in Tucson. Now, there's a thousand police. <laughs> but, of course, I share my story on there, too. That kind of thing, too. So, I share my experiences and some of the things I'm going through. Sharing my journey. So, like I said, definitely make sure that y'all are checking that out as well. What does this man do? He can't turn anyone into a dog. These people are really crazy. Goodness gracious. But, like I said, definitely just, just make sure that y'all check it out. The, oh, of course, I have a whole lot of more videos to upload. I just haven't uploaded them yet, but... But like I said, I'm uploading just about every single day, actually. And actually, it is every single day. At least for the past two, three months. Two months, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, something. It's been like almost every single day. So like I said, definitely go on there, find my channel, Tonetta Clay. And make sure that y'all subscribe. I got this cute little feather, little Mardi Gras boa on. So make sure that y'all go subscribe and check it out, y'all. And make sure that y'all, like I said, comment and share it with your friends and family. Feel free to do so. I don't mind at all. Must be some people getting out work, catching the bus, or oh, they come from college. So, I, like I said, I'm driving, so I'm <laughs> and usually ain't not driving this time. But well, sometimes I am, but I have support groups that I facilitate and stuff like that. So I technically am out driving. Can't say every day, but a few times a week. Uh oh, mm -mm. 
goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Oh, Lord, child. I hope y'all doing well. Like I said, definitely let me know how y'all doing. Like I guess I'm just doing this video because I'm just getting back in the swing of things and just doing a video while I'm driving, so I don't really have a topic at all. So <laughs> just, just some random stuff, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, let me know how y'all are doing and where you're tuning in from. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Now I'm looking at this place called Wiener's, Wiener's Schnitzel. I think my partner said, but they sell uh, hot dogs. I see the hot dogs. I'm like, they have all these hot, it's like a hot dog business, I guess. And they have like different toppings. I, I know I didn't see one of these in St. Louis as I know of. So I guess it's just here in Tucson or the southern areas. I don't know. But like I said, I have not been to that place yet. Don't know if I'll go or not, but like I said, it's just an interesting business, I guess I would say. Some of it looks good. They have mac and cheese, chili mac and cheese, all this kind of stuff on the menu. I see like the signs outside. Like I said, just amazing to me. I guess, well, I know every city does not have every single thing that every other city has. Because like I said, some of these restaurants and that kind of thing was not a, a lot of them actually. A lot of in St. Louis, but they have some really good food, y'all. And I think Tucson, uh, not think, but I know that Tucson is called the city of gastronomy. Because there is, oh, I forgot how many miles. Is it 34 or 44 miles of Mexican food here? So I'm like, good Lord. <laughs> so there's a lot of Mexican food. So, and I haven't had a, a, a few, a, probably like one mile probably. But, but like I said, definitely. It's a city to enjoy some food. I guess I guess I put it that way. They have a lot of food trucks here. Um, a lot of small businesses. And uh, this town, of course, is different from back in St. Louis to me. Because like I said, I mean, you saw food trucks and that kind of thing. But it's really a really, really big thing here. Um, I, I don't know like what the rules are, that kind of thing with the food trucks. I haven't looked them up or that kind of thing at all. But I just know that this town is more um, small business friendly. I guess I'd say that. And they're more into supporting small businesses and that kind of thing too. So, which I think is awesome. Because <clears throat> like I said, I've been doing well. So I've been fine with, with, my, um, with, with, with my cookie business, Cookies and Ish, since I've been here. So, the first event I had out the gate, I sold a lot of cookies actually. I, well, I didn't bake that much, but I mean, I bake, bake maybe like 50 some cookies. But like I said, definitely because it's a lot to bake these big old giant cookies and all these batches. But like I said, definitely I made money right out the gate. I, I, know, I know I made over $100 that day. And it's been like that every, every time, actually. So I'm like, this is awesome because back home, I mean, not putting shade on St. Louis at all, but there's a lot of things that I'm sure they can learn from other cities, whether it's like this or whether it's like Atlanta, especially Atlanta, because I know there's a lot of black businesses down there and that kind of thing that are thriving, doing well, more of a small business, um, friendly town, that kind of thing, too. And like I said, that's always important because there's a lot of folks that I know back in St. Louis that's cooking, baking, uh, making stuff, selling jewelry, whatever it is. And of course, like I said, I want everybody to win, too. So, like I said, we definitely have to, at some point, try to make some changes or something. I don't know probably some policies i'm not sure what it is and i know when i first got my um first ever business license with my candy bouquet business it seemed like i had to go through leaps and bounds just to get a dog on business license this was back in st louis it was st louis city i don't know what st louis county is like but it took me months to get that dog on business license then i had to go downtown to, to, to court to well they had to post a sign outside my building to let folks know that, that, that they can come in um, contest the hearing if they, don't want, if they don't want my business there in that area. And it, that took months. I'm just like, what in the world? <laughs> I'm like, okay, that was the longest process I've ever in my life seen. Here when I came here, when I got my licenses, I had to do my safe serve license um, in order to, of course, bake out my home here and sell, like I said, the, the sweets at my home here. Um, and then I had to register with Pima County as being a cottage food business. That took me one day. Well, the, the actual class for the um, safe serve that took me, um, what, two days to listen to because I was actually listening to it at work. And like that, once I passed the test that um, that second day, went over here, applied for the license. I had everything I needed way before I moved. Probably like, we moved like mid-July. So I had all this stuff, I think, in like mid-June to make sure I had it before I left. And I'm like, okay, it took like about an hour for me to apply for that stuff, take my test and apply for the license. I'm like, what is going on? I don't know. Like I said, we got to make some changes. We have a lot of, I know my family back home are trying to get businesses started too. And like I said, definitely just a lot of red tape with stuff, it seems like, when it does not have to be at all. So like I said, as much as I can, my St. Louis family out there, like I said, because I know my family's probably listening too. Like I said, I will definitely make sure that I'm, I'm posting some stuff that, that, that can help y'all with y'all small businesses and stuff like that. Um, especially when it comes to different things you love to do, your, your, your creativity, your hobbies, and this is for anybody, but um, for those who have hobbies and like to be creative, whether it's dance, music, creating stuff, making jewelry, whatever it is, 
Like I said, I definitely want to make sure that I'm providing some type of education that I've learned over these last several, about five years, reading about businesses, learning businesses, buying courses, all this type of stuff to help you out with your businesses too, especially if you haven't got far in your business. Like I said, I'll definitely um, be sharing some of that stuff too. I actually, I shared some earlier. Um, just like a little a video about a post that up or a video about a Canva uh, graphic that I um, that, that I make every month to let folks know here in Tucson where I'm at, where I'm where I'm having a vendor space at, what what my hours are, stuff like that, where they can catch a girl. So like I said, that definitely. I know St. Louis didn't have as much vendor events as they have here because they have vendor events here in Tucson every doggone day. You can see a tent somewhere, some tent set up or that kind of thing. So I'm just like, wow. Um, but like I said, that is needed here. Now, back home in St. Louis, of course, like I said, they had some. Um, and I used to go to some, actually. I went to several, actually, while I was there in St. Louis. Different parts of the county, South County, um, the city, um, the hill. I, I went to several different areas out there, North County, different areas. And like I said, I'm not sure what it is, but it seems like either... I guess more advertisements. I don't. I don't know what it is because those kind of events here are very, very well um, attended. I guess I put it that way. There's always foot traffic coming to these events and stuff like that here. And I guess we just have to, like I said, back in St. Louis, just kind of educating the people about them, making it more known, that kind of thing. I know there's more cities in St. Louis who, who need that kind of assistance too. Because, like I said, those are events where vendors can come together and, of course, at one particular location to sell their items. So. Like I said, that that's their business, and of course, like I said, definitely helps grow st grow their household. And then at some point, if they of course get big enough, they can start hiring some folks to, of course, like I said, to pay them a wage as well. So it is a win win for everybody. So like, and, and then the taxes too. So like I said, definitely, we gotta like I said, educate as much as we can. I know some of the stuff I've been listening to lately about actually one of the things I listened to yesterday, um, Sarah Jake, Sarah Jakes. I don't know her. I think that's her name, Sarah Jakes. She's a pastor, um, uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes' daughter. She does the, um, she, she's a pastor. Um, listen to one of her, well, actually one yesterday, the day before yesterday. Listen to one of her videos. I'm just like, oh my God, because she was talking about being planted and having to move and that kind of thing. And I would just listen to what she was saying. I'm like, okay. But well, she, she was also, she was talking about a whole lot more than that when it came to healing triggers. Some, some of the stuff I talk about as well. But the main thing that struck me was when she was talking about sometimes, of course, you have to, of course, I know they leave in order to heal more, in order to heal more of the things that's going on, the triggers and that kind of thing, which I know that's true because that's what I'm doing here in Tucson. And like I said, definitely she started to talk about um, not just the healing part. I understand that, but also taking the things that you, the things that you learn, the education that you learn, the skills that you learn, and of course, taking it back home to help those folks as well. Because like she said, she's sure everybody does not have that information. She's sure everybody don't, don't, don't know what to do when it comes to healing or when it comes to, of course, whether it's a small business, whatever it is. And like I said, definitely, like I said, her in that video the other day, that's why I'm doing this. Well, one, one reason why I'm talking about this in this video, but just knowing that, of course, Coming from St. Louis, living for say St. Louis, what forty five years, um, and ain't, ain't even been here in, in Tucson a year yet, but it'd be a year in July. But like I said, definitely just just knowing that all the small business owners that I knew back then, I mean back there in St. Louis, who were struggling trying to make it, that kind of thing, and needed some extra assistance or education, whether it's marketing, advertising, whatever it was, how to make their product better, how to take the pictures better, whatever it is, those are the things I've been learning and been learning for the last several years, not just with baking and cooking and that kind of thing, but also with my coaching business as well, and just trying to learn how to have an internet marketable business and how to actually create that business. Of course, it's been, of course, a struggle for me because I'm still learning and that kind of thing, but like I said, definitely is not where I wanted to be. But like I said, I'm definitely learning as I go along when it comes to that coaching. I guess I put it that way. But like I said, definitely, I still have information that I've learned that can still help somebody. I guess I put it that way because I know there are some other coaches. I've, I see them on LinkedIn and stuff like that, too, um, who are in St. Louis, have businesses, not saying they're struggling, that kind of thing at all. But but like I said, along some lines, everybody at some point struggles, especially when you're starting off trying to learn and trying to figure it out. Because like I say, I always say. There's no blueprint at all to anything, to life or business, to having a baby, to starting any kind of thing. You always, it's, it, it's always trial and error. I say that every single time. And it's definitely the truth. I'm trying to see what, oh. But like I said, it's definitely truth. So like I said, definitely the stuff that I've been learn, learning and, and educating myself about, like I said, I'm gonna definitely start sharing that. Um, Cause I, like I said, I do wanna see everybody win as well. We need that in our communities anyway, especially the black community.
because it bothers me that uh, seeing black businesses and they're not thriving to even create enough income to even sustain a household with. So like I said, that definitely bothers me as well. So I understand how that goes. Like I said, definitely I will be sharing that information too. And like I said, not just for starting up your business, that kind of thing. I actually love talking about startup businesses, actually. My mind races and races and races. I have all these ideas all the time. Uh, but like I said, definitely, um, I'm just a brainstorming and an idea generator, I guess I put it that way. That's what I was called, I guess I say that. So, But like I said, definitely just knowing that I can help some, I guess, some small businesses out there, not just with that, but with... Because I know when, when it came to me and my healing and that kind of thing as well, my creativity is what helped me as far as being able to, of course, create um, my, I guess, baking and all those types of things. And being able to, of course, uh -oh. Oh. And being able to, of course, like I said, plan to strategize to, to, to figure out what my triggers were while I was baking and thinking and processing, stuff like that. And I know a lot of people can, of course, need that help too. I'm sure that. Like I said, I'm definitely um, shifting the mindset. Like I said, definitely breaking those generational curses. And like I said, that's something that our community needs as well. I know that for a fact. And I know May is national. Um, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's Mental Health Awareness Month. I put it that way. And like I said, definitely um, just knowing that I'll be talking more about these kind of things next month as well. But because I know there's a lot of things that we, I, that I have done as a social worker that, of course, will help some people too. Whether it's just talking about mental health, any kind of issues dealing with me. And I don't mind sharing. I never mind sharing. But like I said, definitely just knowing that there are some things that I know I've been through that I can, of course, share those lessons with you all more and more and more as well. Because I know sometimes I forget about y'all on my page over here. I'm like, I'm always on the business page and that kind of thing. But I'm like, Lord, I got to get back to y'all. Because, of course, y'all was where I started. I guess I put it that way, too. And there's a lot of y'all on her, too, that I'm sure that need some assistance or need some education, need some information. All those types of things. And like I said, I would definitely be bringing, bringing that back to y'all. Just, just to let y'all know. And like I said, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually at work now. Well, I'm at work. But um, waiting for the event to start. It doesn't actually start till 2. Um, so I'm way early. I don't really see many people. Like 10 people maybe over there. Probably still setting up. So but like I said, definitely. Um, you will hear more from your girl. I won't be leaving y'all out anymore. Trust me on that one. I won't leave y'all out anymore. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, have mercy. My St. Louis, a lot of my St. Louis family, of course, they're on my Instagram too and stuff like that. But y'all on this page as well. Like I said, I definitely don't want to leave y'all out of anything. I know I'm not for everybody. I do want to say that too. Um, but for those who I'm for, of course, like I said, you can definitely make sure you're following your girl. I guess I put it that way. I'm actually going to go ahead and get off her because I know I'm probably about to get out and go see if they need some assistance. So, but that y'all, so I'll say take her. I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, have a good one. And like I said, um, for those who are on here, I got now I can see. Um, Glenda, thank you, sis, for tuning in. And Victor, thank you for tuning in as well. I hope that y'all are doing well. And like I said, let me know how y'all doing down there in the comments. Because I haven't talked to y'all on video since I was blocked on, well, not blocked, but what is it called? Putting jail on Facebook in the, in the past month. So let me know how y'all doing. So take care, y'all, and have a good one.